very quickly want to deal dealing with the spell of delay that is our charge unto prayer dealing with the spell of delay it also refers to secrets of speedy satisfaction secrets of speedy results God is a God of progress God is a God of speed in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more further and further unto the perfect day. Psalm 84 verse 7, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Those of us who appear before God, we are not permitted to be stagnant in life. They go from strength to strength. They go from level to level. They go from glory to glory. Every one of them in Zion are before the Lord. Isaiah chapter 43 and in verse 19, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. That word spring is a word of urgency. It shall come up urgently. It shall come up speedily. It shall come up expeditiously. And shall you not know it? It's a God of speed. A God of urgency. A God of acceleration. A God in motion. Not a God that is stagnated. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And they went forth, and the Lord went with them. And they went forth, and the Lord went with them. Confirming the world with signs and wonders following. Somebody is going forward today. Say a louder amen. Say a louder amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. He said, but we all beholding us in a glass. The glory of the Lord, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory, from level to level, from face to face, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So shall it be. My personal life is not at the same level this year like last year. This church is not at the same level this year like last year. And if anybody is at, at associated, related, connected to this church. Your life is not permitted to be at this level this year as it was last year. Spiritually, materially, socially, financially, maritally, and in every otherwise, you can never be at the same level. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Lift your hands, say, I am going forward speedily urgently by fire how do we deal with the spell of delay what is the secret of speed number one existing with a strong clear vision existing with a strong clear vision Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 he said I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and the Lord answered me and said write the vision 
and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. A strong, clear vision, a strong, clear vision is secret of early satisfaction, a secret of acceleration, a secret of motion. A strong, clear vision destroys stagnation. It destroys it. A strong, clear vision of where you are going or where you think God wants you to go or where you are meant to reach in life, it destroys the power of stagnation. Did somebody say, here, say amen. What do you see? What do you see ahead of you? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years, in the next 15 years, spiritually and otherwise? What do you see yourself at the end of this year? This afternoon, a young man visited me. He's a senior advocate of Nigeria. And I said, what is the secret of where you are now? He said, vision. He said, many years ago, he was in the law school and he was sent on court attachment with one of the chambers in Lagos. Also, court attachment. And then he was in court where two lawyers were contending with each other. The big lawyer. And then that this one, this other lawyer made a submission. And the other one said to the judge, that man is talking out of ignorance. And that one looked at the judge and he said, can somebody who has a BA in law and a master's LLM and on top of that, I have a PhD in law. And then a senior advocate of this noble profession. Can such a one be termed ignorant? <laughs> this small boy heard that and picked it. And the man made his case. And he picked it and he said, me too. One day I will have a bachelor in law, a master's in law a doctorate in law, and I will also be a senior advocate. So he finished, and then has his bachelor's, and then has his master's, and then had his PhD, and then collected the form to fill for senior advocate. See, every time he collected the form, they, lift, they shifted the standard. He will go for the standard. See, what is the requirement? You need to answer so many cases, you need so, he will go for it until he clinched it, the vision of years. Bill Clinton was in the White House at the age of 17 and shook hands with J.F. Kennedy. And the vision to become president entered his heart at age 17. 20 years later, thereabout, the vision came to pass. Am I communicating at all? What you don't see, you cannot seize. Anything that does not cross your heart can cross your life. Things don't happen by chance. They happen by choice. Take your seat. There is somebody here who is going to say, this year cannot pass like that. By the middle of this year, I should be at so-and-so level, spiritually and otherwise. By the last quarter of this year, I should be at so-and-so level, spiritually and otherwise. And whatever it takes, I will step in there. Don't fill your mind with the things that depress you. Fill your mind with those things that excite you. Don't let your mind be filled with where you are. Let your mind be filled with where you want to be. Am I communicating? Let your mind be filled with where you want to be. Let 
the let the let the walls of your imagination be occupied with the reality of where you are going. Imagine it until it appears like you are already there. Somebody heard something just now. Don't fill your mind with the things that depress you. Fill your mind with the things that excite you. Don't let your mind be filled with where you are. Let your mind be filled with where you are going, where you want to be. Existing with strong, clear vision. Where vision is lacking, motion must be lacking. Acceleration must be lacking. Speed must be lacking. Number two, breaking the spell of limitation. By the power of God. Breaking the spell of limitation by the power of God. In Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18 to 21, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18 to 21, it says, Then I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah and Israel, Israel and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come this to do? And he said, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah so that no man did lift up his head. That is, there are places and there are families and there are lives that the devil held down like this. He shouldn't lift his head. Held down like this. Or put a wedge. He shouldn't move forward. Let him remember. So that no man did lift up his head. So you can see that in a whole family, no graduates. Nobody can be called a millionaire. Nobody important. He said, but what come this to do? And he said, these are the horns which have scattered you so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them. To scatter them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. That is why we are here. That anything that says you shouldn't go forward before this fast is over, even tonight, the power of God will scatter it. Every force that says nobody should lift up their head out of your family and out of your community and out of our nation, the power of God will scatter it. Every force of darkness that says only shameful news should come out of Nigeria. The other time the news was the news of how the National Assembly was besieged in the eyes of the whole world. With armed people. Then the other time was when executive was presenting and people were shouting to the hearing of the whole world. And then negative news all the time. What? 2019. 2019. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Nigeria, on Nigeria, on Nigeria, be broken, be broken by the power, by the 
week is over, there shall be evidence of speed. Say it louder, amen. amen. Say the loudmost, amen. amen. 
Say a believers, amen. amen. We have testimonies come from across the nation. Someone testified and said, the particular person who confessed that he killed his mother, father, and some other person in the family confessed publicly. And who sat on the destiny of the whole family was among those he presented to God in the course of this season. And under 24 hours, that person was laid to rest. In the same manner tonight, this matter of speed, under 24 hours, anywhere they sat on your head and sat on your destiny and sat on your progress and sat on your future, Jehovah shall intervene and you shall have speed in the name of Jesus. And you shall be back to testify. Yesterday, we were meant to make demands on strength, health, and vitality. But because of the many things we did, we couldn't do that. So we're going to take that now. A major reason for the fast is for strength. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Is anybody waiting on the Lord at all? They shall renew their strength. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6, and then verse 8. 58, verse 6. Is this not the fast? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo heavy burdens. To let the oppressed go free. That you break every yoke. Then shall your light break forth as the morning. And your health shall spring forth speedily. Every affliction that followed you into this fast shall be buried. Every spirit of diabetes, hypertension, ulcer, cancer, urinary disease, inherited disease, short-sightedness, deafness, moving object in the body, internal heat condition, pelvic inflammatory disease, hepatitis, HIV, whatever followed you into this fast, they shall not follow you out of the fast. In the name of Jesus, every divine encounter you need or surgery you need from the almighty God to put your system, I declare it released.